Shalom, shalom. First of all, before we get started, I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kakadash, and double on those great millstones, while it is true. And also to the Hufilet, that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great, powerful lesson the Spirit and the Power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So, the title of today's lesson is The Lord Shall Fight for Thee. So, I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we get started with a, a quick precept before we open up the lesson. Uh, Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptian whom ye have seen today, Ye shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. And I about the Lord to get ready to fight for, you know what I'm saying? The Lord uh, had, had delivered us out of Egypt, you know, in Moses' time. And also, where what? In our, in our second captive, the second Egypt, which in fact is Babylon the Great. The Lord is getting ready to deliver us again, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to what? Do a mighty work and out about we cannot wait. We you know we hasten his great and glorious return, even though we get ready to come upon a what a tribulation period that we have never seen before. Jacob trouble, it is at the door. World War Three, the beginning of it. You know what I'm saying? Things can go nuclear at any given time. We're seeing that they're getting ready to roll out this what? This digital society, this new world order. And out about where you will not be able to buy or sell unless you be a, a part of this what? B system. And out about that's why we must always what? Must have faith. And out of that, we must what? Constantly trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh That's why the Lord said, hey, stand still. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, keep your peace and keep a sound mind because the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. Greater is coming. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is uh, the Lord uh, shall fight for thee. And also, we shall be in what? The secret place of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh A stronghold in times of trouble. So now, I start one quick video and after the video we will start the lesson and I hope that you will get edified one moment Psalm chapter 91 verse 1 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust Surely he shall deliver from the snare of the power and from the hands of the pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the hour that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted that new day. Shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou be holy and see the reward of thy Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come from thy dwelling. For he shall give his They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the sun. Thou shalt tread on the lion of the man. The young lion and the dragon shall not tremble under thee, because he has set his blood upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high in my name. He shall call upon me. So you see that that supernatural intervention is getting ready to take place and the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work, a mighty deliverance. And that about all we must do is stay faithful, stay loyal to the Lord. The Lord will what? Sustain us. He will provide for us in those what? Times of trouble, which in fact is what? Jacob trouble. So we'll start the lesson 
uh, in uh, Romans chapter 8. We'll start off in Romans chapter 8. One moment. Romans chapter 8. And we'll start at verse 31. We'll start there. <clears throat> and it reads, said, What shall we then say uh, to these things? If the Almighty, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, be for us, who can be against us? And not about can no one stand, you know what I'm saying, in the presence of what? A Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And not about the Lord said, He will what? Provide for us. He will what? Sustain us. You know what I'm saying? We'll let no harm come uh, towards us if we're part of the what? The whole thing let. And not about, hey, keep the faith. Let's keep pushing. How long, O oh Lord? We're hasten His great and glorious return. So now, Let's start back up. And also the Lord shall fight for thee. And I about the Lord is getting ready to do some things that we have not seen beyond our what comprehension. The Lord's getting ready to do it now. Uh, Romans chapter, let's drop down to verse 35. Romans chapter uh, 8 and verse 35. We'll start back up here. Let me highlight some of this. One moment. A little highlighting here. One moment. Salakia. <clears throat> and it reads, said, Who shall separate us from the love of the Hamasiah? Shall tribulation or... Uh, Distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, our perils, our sores. No, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said he will protect us, you know what I'm saying? From the famine, from the what? From the said perils, from what? The soil, you know what I'm saying? From what? Esau, Edom, you know, the tribulation, distress and anguish. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said what? My servant shall eat, they shall be hungry. You know what I'm saying? My servant shall drink, you know, they shall be thirsty. Who is that? The two thirds. And out about it, because what? They don't believe. They still think that what? It is a game. And out about it, hey, the Lord get ready to show up. So now, verse 36, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all uh, the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Verse 37, nay, in all these things, uh, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Verse 39, nor heights, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Almighty, which is uh, in the Hamasiah, Yahawashah, Hamas, uh, Yahawashah, our Lord and Savior. And out about hate. It's not going to separate us from the love from, from, from him. And I did about it. And the Lord said he would not let nothing happen to us. And I did about it. We trust and believe in the Lord. And we also, we fear the Lord. And I did about it. We know that we get ready to go through these perilous times. We seeing everything, you know, just like clockwork, lining up. We seeing at the end it's being manifest. We see it, you know, we sound like a broken record, but these are the time that we're living in. The Lord said he's going to save us from what? Tribulation. He's going to save us from what? Persecution. He's going to save us from what? From the famine. You know what I'm saying? And he also going to uh, save us from what? The so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. We know that the devil is getting ready to what? It's come down with great wrath, but he's in for what? A rude awakening. So now, let's go to Sirach. Let's go to Sirach chapter 2. Sirach chapter 2. And we'll start up one moment. Let's start up at verse 9. And it reads, say, Ye that fear the law, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Verse 10, look at the generation of old and see did ever any trust in the law and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that are uh, called upon him? Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. The Lord, what? It's the same from yesterday. He's the same today and what? Forever. And I'd about the Lord never changed. And I'd about He would never forsake us. He would never leave us. And I'd about all we must do is keep the faith, keep believing, strive for the truth to death. And I'd about we would get to the finish line. Woo, let's start back up. Uh, Sirach, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 2. And we'll start back up at, uh, let's start back up at verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion. And mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sin, and saveth in time of affliction. And I about the Lord's gonna save his elect in that time of trouble, which in fact is Jacob's trouble. It is at the door. We see all these evils are growing all around. That perilous time is at the door. If you do not know what time that you are living in, you're getting ready to be destroyed. So now let's go to Nahum. Let's go to Nahum chapter uh one. One moment. Nahum chapter one. <laughs> One moment. 
One moment. Nahum chapter uh, one. One moment. There we go. Nahum chapter one. And we'll start up at verse. <clears throat> let's start up at verse seven. Nahum chapter one and verse seven. And it reads, uh, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Verse eight. But but with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof and darkness shall pursue his enemies. Verse nine. What do you um, what what do ye imagine Salak, against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up. The second time, and not about we at the end of all our affliction. The Lord is getting ready to put us back in our first estate. Immortality, rulership, spiritual power. The Lord is getting ready to fight for us. And not about we don't have any power. You know, we don't have a military like uh, uh, the big bad wolf, uh, 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 Esau, even the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks. But the Lord is getting ready to cut him off forever. The Lord is in what? Perfect control. The Lord has controlled both sides. The what? The left hand side, also the right hand side. And out about we on the winning team. And out about that is who? Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh Shah. Hey, man, so this is the what? The last time. And amen. We cannot wait in the kingdom of heaven. It is almost at hand. So now, let's go to uh, let's go to uh get a quick precept. Let's go to Micah chapter 7. One moment. Micah chapter 7. Micah chapter 7. And we'll start. I think it's no, Micah chapter 7 and we'll start at, I think it's verse 8 that I want. <clears throat> verse 9, so like, and it reads, I will uh, bear the indignation or the, uh, or the righteous anger of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my case and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Woo! And we cannot wait. We about to behold his righteousness. The Lord is getting ready to return. Our salvation is very close. Then we yet believe. That's why we burn. We sign and cry left and right. How long, O oh Lord? Have mercy upon us, Lord. Hoping that we're part of the hopeful land. We ready to see our Lord and Savior. Man, we cannot wait. The king of the universe is getting ready to return. The Lord shall fight for us. So now, let's go to uh, Psalm chapter uh, 25. Psalm chapter 25, one moment. Psalm chapter 25, and we'll start at verse, <clears throat> let's start up at verse 6. And it reads, said, Remember me, uh, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for, for they have been ever of old. Uh, verse 7, Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgression, according to thy mercy. Remember uh, thy me for thy goodness sake, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah. So, Lord, remember me, Lord. Blot out my sin, Lord. Take not your Holy Spirit from me, Lord. That I continue to walk in the paths of, of rights. Brakatha Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Brakatha Yahweh. Brakatha Yahweh Shah. Man, I'm telling you, man. Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So, now let's drop down to verse uh, uh, Psalm chapter 25. Let's drop down to verse uh, 14. And it reads, the, the secret of the Lord is with uh, them that fear him, the elect, and he which uh, show them his covenant. Verse 15, my eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he shall pluck uh, my feet out of the net. And out of about, hey, the Lord is getting ready to protect us, you know what I'm saying, from the snare and the fowler, you know what I'm saying? And out of about, you know, all these are uh, 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 great pearls that get ready to uh, come upon the earth, but the Lord said it would not come uh, 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 before us. And out of about, hey, man, man, we're here. So verse 16, uh, turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Verse 17, the troubles of my heart are enlarged. O bring thou Thou me out of my distress. Verse 18. Look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Verse 19. Consider my enemies, for they are many and they hate me with cruel hatred. The devil's getting ready to come down with great wrath. He's getting ready to fill his belly. But the Lord said he would not be able to perform his enterprise. Verse 20. Said, O oh, keep my uh, soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed for I put my trust in thee. Woo, we cannot wait. Verse 21 said, let, let integrity 
and uprightness per preserve me, for I wait on thee. Verse 22, redeem Israel, O, uh, uh, o Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, out of all his trouble. And the Lord is getting ready to deliver us out of all our trouble. That's why the Lord said, lift up thy head. You know what I'm saying? Your what? Redemption drawing nearer and nearer. UFO sites are all across the world. Bible prophecy are constantly coming to pass. And his word is not returning void. The Lord is getting ready to what? To help us. And out of that, that supernatural intervention is what? It is on the way. And we cannot wait. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 59. This is getting ready to happen right here. Isaiah chapter 59. One moment. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. And it reads, said, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a stand against him. So the Lord's getting ready with the fight for that supernatural intervention. So when the enemy come in like a flood, when this what economy crash, you know, all hell will break loose. And also that what? Russia and China troop, you know what I'm saying? They get ready to invade America. America will be totally destroyed with those IBC on milk. The indignation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord's getting ready to show up. He get ready what? to stand up. That's why the Lord says stand still. Be, you know, you know, keep the peace. And I'd buy, you know, keep a sound mind. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord, He have us. The Lord is what? It's in control. Control of all spirit. And I about, hey man, I'm telling you, everyone is doing the Lord's will, whether you believe it or not. So let's read that again. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. Uh, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, from Babylon the Great. We're in the what? Utter, uttermost parts of the earth. And his glory from the rising of the sun. And so the Lord going to get ready what? To crack the clouds out of the what? Out of the east. The Lord said, that's why we pray to the east. He said, look to the east. And out of that, the Lord is going to become in that great fathership with great glory and great power. Every eye shall see him, even the one that pierced him. The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. From the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Woo! And we cannot wait. So let's get another quick precept. Let's go to Isaiah chapter uh, 40. One moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 40. One moment. Isaiah chapter 40. One moment. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse, I think it's verse 31 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's verse 31. Isaiah chapter uh, uh, 40 and verse 31. And it reads, said, But they that wait upon uh, the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with, ring, with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Woo, that's that spiritual power. It is right around the corner. The Lord is getting ready to fight for us. And out of the body, the Lord is getting ready, man, to do one a wonderful work. And out of the body, he's, what he told Esau, I shall not meet thee as a man. The Lord is getting ready to come back at that, that great, what, angelic force. And out of the body, hey, man, we cannot wait. How long, oh Lord? So let's read that, uh, let's read that again. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up uh, with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And out of that, we cannot wait to get our hands on what? Esau, Edom. And out of that, the Lord is getting ready what? to renew our strength. And out of that, all we must do is what? Is keep the faith. Keep believing. You know what I'm saying? And out of that, you know, and, and fear the Lord. And out of that, and the Lord will what? Deliver us. And out of that, we cannot wait. His word is not returned to him void. So now, Let's go to uh, uh, Psalm chapter 46. Let's go to Psalm chapter. And also when you read about Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1, Archangel Michael is getting ready to stand up for the children of Israel, the elect, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So now let's go to uh, Psalm chapter 46. One moment. Psalm chapter 46. One moment. And we'll start up at verse uh, 6. And it reads, uh, the heathen rage, uh, the kingdoms uh, were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. Uh, verse 7, the Lord of hosts is, is with us. Uh, 
The God of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. Verse 8. Come, behold the works of the Lord. Uh, what, what desolation he has made in the earth. And that's about when the Lord returns, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be well, a lot of great destruction, great death, you know what I'm saying? The body count will be great. And that's about we cannot wait. The great day of the Lord is fast to approach. The Lord shall fight for thee. So let's start back up at verse 9. He maketh war to cease unto the ends of the earth. He breaketh uh, the bow and cutteth uh, the spear in, in sunder. He burneth uh, the chairs in the fire. That's that indignation of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord's getting ready to burn them up with that what? That fervent heat. And we cannot wait. Verse 10. Be still and know that I am Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Every what tongue shall confess. Every knee shall bow. Down and out about, hey man, that in that day they shall know that he is the Lord. And out about, hey man, we cannot, man, we can't wait, man. Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So what? Rejoice ye heaven. Uh, Psalm chapter 46 and verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. Woo! And we cannot wait. The Lord is with us. And out about all we must do is keep doing what we doing. You know what I'm saying? We little are uh, uh, having problems. Whatever the Lord said, what He gonna provide for? All we gotta do is believe. We don't care how it look, how it turn out. You know what I'm saying? But in the end, the Lord said, "Hey, the victory is out." The Lord said, "What? It is His Father' good pleasure to give us the what? The kingdom of heaven." Woo! And we cannot wait. So now let's go to our last and final strip. Let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter thirteen. Just in the spirits, Salaki, uh, Hebrew chapter 13, one moment, and we'll start up at uh, Hebrew chapter 13, we'll start, let's get verse 6, Hebrew chapter uh, 13 and verse 6, he says, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me, so we're not worried about what Esau even the so-called way. White man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Because you know what? The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. He has given us a sound mind through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh so we ain't even worried about this red devil. We already know that he's getting ready to go down. The Lord is getting ready to cut him off forever. And we cannot wait. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. So now, uh, Hebrew chapter 13, we'll start back up at verse uh, one moment. We'll start back up at verse 8. One moment. Passed it up. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter uh, 13 and verse 8. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. And I'd about, hey, the Lord never changed. And I'd about, the Lord said he would never leave us. He would never forsake us. He would be with us to what? To the end of the world. Let's get that right quick. Matthew, before we close out, let's go to Matthew. We'll close out. Matthew chapter uh, 28. Matthew chapter 28. And verse, I think it's verse, let's see, one more, verse 20. <clears throat> and it reads, it said, teaching them to observe all things of whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Lord never changed. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll never forsake us. And that's about the Lord helped us out in Egypt. The Lord's getting ready to help us out in this time. All we must do is keep the faith, keep believing, walk in the path of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? And I did about it. Hey, the Lord is going to do the rest. All we got to do is what? Is stand still. Let Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, let him do the work. The Lord's getting ready to fight for us. And I did about it. Hey, hey man, the Lord's getting ready to show up and show out. In that day, they shall know that he is the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So the title of the day lesson. Once again is the Lord shall fight for thee. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. And I like to say Shalom, Shalom.